as you settle in with the breath. The Johns would always say, make a survey of your mind as well. Is it leaning forward? Is it leaning back, left or right? Forward, of course, means leaning into the future, back, leaning into the past. Left or right, leaning to things that you would like or dislike. You want to set your mind tall. You're right here, fully aware right here. Of course, there will be some reference to the past and the future. You're meditating because you do want true happiness. And for all the people who say, well, true happiness is going to be found only in the present moment, so don't think about the future, don't think about the goals, or having any goals. The Buddha never taught that. He said, there is a goal. We're on a path that goes someplace. It's just a matter of having a mature attitude toward your goals, realizing that what is going to happen in the future is something you don't know. But you do know you will need certain skills, mindfulness, alertness, discernment. And so the best way to prepare for the future is to develop those qualities right here, right now. And then you keep that in mind. That's what mindfulness is for, to remember things you've learned from the past. Is what's skillful, what's not skillful. And when the mind is in an unskillful state, you remember different ways that have worked in the past to get what you want out of the mind, get it back in line. So it's not that we're totally blocked off from the past or future, it's simply that we're very selective in how we refer to the past and the future and bring it in here to the present. Lessons from the past are meant to give you guidance as to what to do right here, right now. Your concern for the future keeps reminding you why it's important that you do those things, that you develop those skills right here, right now. So everything points right here. We're in the present moment, not because it's a wonderful place to be, but because it's a necessary place to be. If you really want to gain some control over your mind, if you really want to get some freedom for the mind, it has to be found by what you're doing right here, right now. So focus on what you're doing. Make sure you're doing it skillfully. And that way you get the most out of the present moment. As the moments go past, go past, go past. There's a passage in the reflections that the monks are supposed to make every day. And it's good for lay people, too. Days and nights fly past, fly past. What am I becoming right now? And what you're becoming is based on what you're doing. So be very careful about what you're doing. Ultimately, that's the only thing you can be responsible for. But so many of us are not even responsible for that. So be responsible for your choices right here, right now, to stay with the breath, to be sensitive to the breath. Make whatever adjustments to the breath and the mind that are needed. That way days and nights fly past, fly past. But they leave good things behind because you're making good things right here.